Hey friends, it's really hot here today. Anyways, recently I had two weird dreams and I want to share those with you guys. I'm just wondering if any of you guys out there who are vegan have these kinds of weird dreams too, right? So, I don't know how long ago now, maybe even maybe, but I had another one last night, that's why I thought I'd share them with you. A couple of months ago I had a dream, right? And you know how dreams are abstract, so it made no sense, kind of, but I was outside somewhere, I don't know where I was, and there was a cage, right, but I didn't notice there was anything in the cage, but I was sitting outside the cage with my Labrador and my, one of my mum's Labradors, right, and I was chewing on this meat, which was a red fleshy meat, okay, like, but it, but it came from some kind of chicken or bird okay like a large bird anyway and because I knew I was chewing on like kind of a drumstick or you know the leg of a bird and suddenly I realized that the meat I was chewing on was raw and I looked down and I could see the foot of the bird like the leg and the foot of the bird right and I looked up and the bird was still alive <laughs> like and um, and suddenly I realized like I'd peeled the skin back off the bird and I was eating its raw meat of its leg while it was alive and suddenly I wanted to be really sick and I threw it away from me or pushed it away from me and next thing the two Labradors were into, into the bird, right, into the animal. And I wake up in a cold sweat, <laughs> I think, it, you know. Anyway, so that was one dream. And last night I had another dream. And it was, um, I was eating this meat, like, going to eat, like, strips of meat. And this meat was, seemed like it came from a lamb or a cow, but I wasn't really sure. I just had these cooked strips of meat. <clears throat> and I went to eat a piece and I wanted to be sick, right? I just was, my body was completely revolted by this meat. And I just put it away from me and I put it down and my multi Shih Tzu was there beside me and she just gobbled it up like in no time at all. So, this is a random video. <laughs> I just wondered if anyone else has these kinds of dreams. Like, like I said, like when I became vegan five years ago, I became vegan for health reasons, right? And I thought I would one day go back to eating animal products, and then I watched Watch Over Knives, and I realised I can never go back to eating animal products because they're no good for me. But like I said, after a while, now I'm just utterly, utterly, after a few years, completely revolted by the, uh, but with the idea of eating any animal products now, just from animals. Like, like I said, they're so filthy. Like they eat so much shit you wouldn't know what they're eating like pesticides and oh just the flesh of a dead animal or like something that comes from a dead an like something comes from an animal like eggs and stuff <sighs> so you know there's been just a natural progression of me it's not like you know I'm like some fundamentalist ve <laughs> vegan or anything it just happened it just happens that I feel like that this way this way now and, it, and actually it's even playing in my in my subconscious, obviously with these dreams, but um, so um, so yeah, and only like recently I've been thanking God how much I thanking God that I never have to eat any any animal products ever again in my life. Like that is just so wonderful. <laughs> like it's weird, eh? Like why do I think like that? I, I don't know. <laughs> But I tell you, it's cheaper anyway because animal products are quite expensive, you know, amongst everything else, you know, that they, you know, everything else that's bad about eating them. But yeah, anyway, but for what it's worth, I hope you found this video interesting and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.